familiar. You, know, you, you mentioned your wife, Sarah, and I want to just give some context here for everybody who might not know. She was right. one of the last winners of Tough Enough. She was. Yep, she was. So, so you, you uh, met her as a result of her winning Tough Enough and then being at the Performance Center? Yep. Yep. I said, we, uh, that's where we met it, it kind of, a, a little bit of a backstory with that. So, uh, um, but when tough enough was coming out and the, they, uh, I used to go over to, uh, Noah town's, uh, apartment and we used to watch it, uh, raw and, and stuff like that. It was me and a couple of buddies. And I'll never forget, uh, when they like released like the last, like, uh, uh these are the 11 tough enough people. Yeah. And when Sarah came across the screen, I, I sat there and I told the guys, I said, I don't know what it is about her. I said, but I think she's the most beautiful woman I've ever laid my eyes on. And, uh, you know, and so it was just, just crazy because I, I said that, you know, of course, that was before even the show was, you know, a thing. It was just like, here are the 11 people. Yeah. And so that, and then I, it, it just by fate, she ends up winning it. And, uh, you know, that was something that I, I was, you know, I was super proud of her, you know, and now knowing her and knowing her story. So I was just so proud of her. But you kind of watch that. And there was a couple of times, you know, it, it when you, you're that beautiful inside and out, it, sh it shows through the camera. And I think uh, I think that's what resonated with the with the fans. And I think that's what helped her win, of course, and because there's a couple of times where she could have got voted off. But the fans like, nope, we wanted to see her and stuff like that. And it, it came across to me and how we started talking was um, I don't know if, I mean, people may not, but the NXT has like an NXT combine uh, type thing that you see right. it on the, well, uh, at that time it was, it was a different name, uh, but um, we, we were doing that. We were doing some testing like in, in weight room kind of type testing and stuff like that. Well, uh, you know, we did the, the, the rower and of course, you know, I was, well, I forgot the distance, but, I did so much where I ended up throwing up, where I made myself ill. I pushed myself to, to, to <laughs> competing so much where I was throwing up. Uh, so I was in, in the weight room, and, you know, the head over a trash can as the girls were coming in to start their competition. So nice. real good, real good luck for me. Great uh, first impression. <laughs> yeah, great first impression for me to, uh, you know, and so to head over the trash can, throwing up, and then. She was uh, so sweet that uh, later on that night, she messaged me uh, through Twitter and said, uh, hey, I hope you're feeling better. And then that's how we started uh, messaging each other. And then the rest uh, took off. I, look, I'm fascinated by like the concept of like the butterfly effect and like everything happens for a reason. Just think, yeah. if you hadn't pushed yourself that hard and weren't throwing <laughs> up, you might not have had this icebreaker for the woman who... <laughs> I know and it's just crazy because I remember when um, we used to have like Friday morning yoga classes and stuff like that and I remember like trying to like talk to her and I remember like I, I went there and she was of course doing the yoga and I was and I asked her there was a cup there was like several of us going out for breakfast after the yoga and stuff and I remember asking her, like hey would you like to go uh, to dinner or not dinner but breakfast with all you know there's about six of us. And uh, she turned me down. She goes, no, I can't. Uh, you know, I had, but I, I think she was moving into an apartment at that time. Right. So she was just like, oh, I got furniture coming. So I was just like, ah, oh, man, I just, you know, that was, you know, kind of my shot and that type of stuff. So, uh, and then, I mean, who would have thought that me throwing up after uh, pushing myself so hard uh, in competition that she would DM me asking me if I'm okay. So, 